Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. I had already started your video and it got cut off, so I guess those were not the cards that were meant for you. Um, this is going to be your love reading, starting with the Scorpio new moon today and going into the second half of November. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I do like to do Jupiter because I feel like it's significant. I actually have a Jupiter in Sag, but um, not all readers do that for horoscope readings, but I do feel it is significant. Some people really resonate with their Jupiter sign. Um, this could also be if you're cross-watching for Sagittarius, okay? I don't know why I was being called to do your guys' reading sort of soon in my roster, but I just was being intuitively led to do Sagittarius today. So we do have a tower, and it fell out with Eight of Wands. So you guys could have maybe heard or seen something. There could have been some communication that rocked your world here. Um, this is your love reading. I don't know if I said that. So this is regarding a love dynamic. Something could have fallen apart based on knowledge that was given or something, some kind of exchange that happened that really shifted the course of your dynamic here. So that could be why I was being called to do your reading. I was only going to pull one more, but I'm going to take these. Yeah, truth was revealed here. Okay, truth has been revealed. And um, we've got... But this is bringing balance, and this is going to, it's its like an energy that's really working with you to help you, okay? You could be dealing with a Libra here, um, but balance is being restored. So this could have also been something that needed to happen maybe within like your partner or your person that has helped them be more cooperative with you. It actually is going to be a really positive change. It might not feel like it right now, okay? Interesting, Sag. So let's see what else we got here. And this actually came up when I had started your reading. So it is like there's a three, two threes here. There's something about a group, but I feel this is, it's going to be a celebratory thing. You're going to be rejoicing. You're going to be happy. There could have been even like news of a third party, but that person's no longer in the equation. I'm not really sure. Um, if I'm convinced that it's a third party though, but I'm just seeing two threes and I feel though, it's like the energies around you are going to be working with you more. You're gonna feel more like supported by the universe. It's like you, your lover and the universe. It's almost like the tree, like the three aspects of it. So that being said, I'm gonna use the sacred healing journey from Angelic Revelation 144 and get more messages about this connection here. What is going on with this connection, Sagittarius? So many, all your cards keep falling. It's crazy. And it's like you had the tower. So we have healing and making an effort. So it could have been that like someone in the past wasn't doing anything and this situation shook it up. So now they're going to actually make an effort here. A thoughtful person and a caring connection. Yeah, look, look at this. We had justice, which is all about karma and karmic person. This person, I feel, triggered almost something in your person to be a better person. So they could have been with a karmic in a third party. That ended, I just said that, right at 333 on my timer. Very weird. Working through the darkness and the shadows. And this karmic person really helped them balance and heal and now become a better person to where they could come to you and they can offer you more. Okay? Very interesting. Let's pull for my moody moon messages, masculine, and see where this person's at emotionally in this connection that you're dealing with. This is for masculine, but it could just be for the person you're asking about. Where is this person at, Sagittarius? Mysterious, evasive, quiet, secretive. But the first card was eight of wands, so... Oh, I don't have it there anymore. But I feel where they may in the past not communicated. I feel like there was a breakthrough. There, there was a breakthrough or there will be in a breakthrough in communication where they've been evasive and secretive in the past. The tower moment is going to force them to communicate. Social media, stalking, gossip, and asking questions, snooping. So I feel this person may have even seen you with someone else. That could be the third party. And that has triggered them to make more of an effort. And that has brought out this shadow side, but it's almost like the universe used their jealous competitive shadow side to help them make more initiative with you. 
and then we have music art and creative so they could be someone that you connect with through art through creativity they could have heard music that inspired them to want to make contact with you i'm definitely getting that feeling that this person wants to make contact with you okay we're pulling from arrows of love from mystic moon what other energies do we have here party of one I feel that you guys have felt very like solo. You felt very maybe like abandoned. You felt that like this person wasn't coming through for you, but you've learned to kind of be happy in your oneness. And that might be what's attracting them to you. have learned to be like content with taking yourself out to dinner or sitting and having dinner at home. And maybe if you haven't, that would be a good way to manifest like almost like creating the space for someone to come but already building kind of like that sense of what you would be doing if you had a person like setting up your play and maybe even just making it a very like romantic experience even if it's just you okay on the wings of love guidance and protection i feel if things weren't working out before it's because your angels were protecting you here okay um, you are being protected from something. Look at this. This is another communication messenger. I definitely feel you guys are going to get some sort of communication. Your reading started off with communication. Okay. Let's see what this person would want to say to you. If they could, if walls could talk, <laughs> what would they say? This person, this is from what he didn't say from rising sun Oracle. What does this person want to communicate? I denied our connection. I withheld from you how I truly felt. I was scared to commit to you. Now I have ruined the opportunity to be with you. So if you're cross-watching for a Sagittarius, this could resonate because Sag is very much not about commitment, okay? But this person is having, you know, second thoughts. Um, they have fear here, okay? I, cho I choose you. Please stay in faith and trust. I am working my way. I'm working my way back to you, babe, with the burning love inside. I get the feeling that this is like a very strong connection. You guys have been through a lot together. Rest easy, all is well. Don't be fear. Don't fear or worry. We will be together again. This is all about coming back with you. So um, let's get some more energy about where this person's at. Using the Fire and Ice Lenormand from Angelic Revelation 144. Mountain, facing obstacles and challenges to rise and evolve. Okay, so this person, like we had a tower. I feel they are like going through some things that are really challenging them, but changing them at the same time, helping them grow. Number 21 could be something significant to you. Okay child youthful playful inner child and healing second time we have healing they could have been really working on their inner child wounds you guys could have children together or there could have been like a pregnancy or something like that this could also be immaturity this person could have been playing a lot of games here okay then we have feminine and that's 29 that was 13 interesting um so i get the feeling that this situation has helped you grow as well and they see that okay i'm gonna pull from my places faces and memories and blast from the past and see what ways you guys are connecting what memories are coming up what reminds them of you memories that you've had together basking in the sun okay so maybe you guys you know in the summer you were together the summertime wherever you were you did things outside or there's just something about the sun like you are the sun that's also maybe masculine energy we've got the feminine energy the sun represents masculine coffee in the morning okay so something about in the morning maybe they're thinking of you maybe you guys used to have coffee together maybe you love coffee maybe it's also them like awakening here okay first meeting okay so they could be thinking about when you guys first met and like the beginning okay and i did have good times here on the bottom which was with alcohol so um you know i feel like you guys had a lot of memories together 
um, or there was like the potential to have this, okay? There was like, it was very um, promising between you guys. Let's get some for my Twin Flame current vibes here. What, what other energies do we got here, Sagittarius? So this was caught up in my other, in one of my decks that I wasn't using this deck yet, but this was here. But the reason why I'm bringing it up is because then I just pulled this. Two things about letting go. I am letting go of anything I can't control. I let go of attachment. So I feel like maybe at some point you guys had to let go. Um, there was like healing that needed to happen. We had two healing cards. And in this time, look, we've got karmic again. So there was definitely karmic energy. I have to stay with them because this is there is still karma here. So they had there's still a need to let go of a third party situation that is coming through very very strong here. Okay, so let's get final messages from. I'm just gonna. All right, I'll leave these. Okay. We're gonna get final messages from connections for the modern world. What are some final messages about this connection with Sagittarius? Victimized, okay. So you could have felt victimized, they could have like, but that's that inner child healing that needed to happen. Artificial, okay. So someone here wasn't genuine. Someone here maybe play, feels like a fool because someone was fake here. Okay, let's get one more. And TikTok. But there's something about timing. It was just not the right timing. And I also feel like as time has gone on, there's been healing around these issues. People are ready to be more genuine. People are ready to stop being in a victim mentality. I'm going to pull one last card to clarify the victim thing here. Let's get a card. Well, let's get two cards to clarify victim and clarify artificial. What do we got here? Uh, you guys, like... Your cards are all falling. Okay, this is work in progress. So this person is working, definitely when working on themselves. And we have working my way back to you. So, and the victimized. Ace of Swords, again, breakthrough and awareness. So I do feel there needed to be change around this. But once there was like information delivered, the victim mentality kind of changed. So there needed to just be more clarity. Maybe you felt like you were in the dark and once you found out the truth, you don't feel that victim mentality anymore. This could resonate on different levels. All right, Sagittarius, so that's your reading. I hope it resonated with you guys. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.